So we need Thai real estate developers. Maybe we know by now also, we're not just looking for real estate developers, we're probably looking for residential, right? Because that's more focused. Otherwise, we might dig around and find a bunch of commercial properties and can't do anything with that, right? Okay, all right, so we have some names here. This is great, this is how we, we will go searching. And uh, let's start drilling now, right? Let's not keep on going broad, let's go deep now. So we'll go on LinkedIn. We'll go on LinkedIn and we'll start digging around, seeing who we find. So we're gonna look for roles that generally interface with people like us, right? And we know those roles, Aldo. What are those roles generally of people who interface with people like us? Well, the uh, the upper but the upper uh, uh, management, I think uh, the the director and also okay. like. The Excellent. Let's start going through that, right? Remember, once upon a time, I think you guys were, were intimidated to approach directors, right? Do you feel so much conflict anymore? It's easier, right? You've done some professional networking. It should be, should be easier. All right, so let's look for Sansari. Uh, maybe we can even go here, right? We can go current companies at Sansari. Sansuri, sir. Oh, is it? Did I spell it wrong? Yeah. No. Ah. San. Siri. Ah. All right, San City, PLC. All right, great. Let's take a look and bingo. I mean, how could you how could you hate LinkedIn? LinkedIn is perfect, right? Like, boom. Uh, this is where you find all your all your goods. Okay. This is the president, good. Okay, this is the CEO, good. Uh, this is the executive vice president, okay. Mm, human resources, probably not the best person. Okay, here's a senior vi VP, here's VP, here's VP. Wow, they have a lot of VPs, yeah? Here's board of directors, okay, let's connect with all these people, right? Why not? What's the most that they can do? Tell us no, right? Back to Aldo, you asked a question this morning whether LinkedIn is a good channel. Tell me what other channel that you could possibly find that will get you access to these people in three minutes. Can't be found, right? Um, all right, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so let's say for example, oh, you're already reaching out to them, good. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Here's, oh, here's the CEO. Let's see if the CEO will talk to us. So let's write a letter to a CEO that might influence a CEO, right? Just write this letter. We've already put it on my, you know, my 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 elevator pitch, right? Hi, happy chart. My name is Jing, and I'm CEO of Bookit Vista, right? Uh, I'd like to engage you for a discussion about Indonesian by cooperation that could be. Mutually beneficial to both our businesses. Businesses, businesses. Hope you'll consider. Hope to link up. Up and speak more. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, this could be the new elevator pitch, right? You know, try it out. I don't want to remember how to do this all the time, so I'm going to go to Text Expander. All right. And I have my text expander over here. Okay. And then I'll create a new snippet. Uh, come on. New snippet. Come, new snippet. New snippet, come. New snippet's not working. So whatever. Okay. And I and I send this. Okay. But I don't want to lose track of everything because follow-up is key, so I need to probably put this on a Trello card, right? If I don't put it on a Trello card, then uh, one day I will regret it, and I'll, I'll forget to follow up. So remember also resolve. Follow-up is key. Timing is key. If this guy gets back to us today, we should probably get back to him today. That way we can engage in a further follow-up. But when we forget, or we don't follow up, or we send this invitation, we don't check back, then 
we come back next week and the opportunity is lost. It might as well be we slept on the wheel, right? So let's let's make sure that that doesn't happen, that we have good timing uh, when they respond. So once again, I think you guys already know what we do, but just for just for shits and giggles, uh, let's open it up, Controllo, and we can go and do that. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm going to bring that guy's, uh, where, where is his, his thing? <clears throat> okay, ah, finally, got this back. Come on. All right, good. And since I'm going to be doing this a few times, I don't want to type over and over and over again. But you know what? I'm going to try this as my elevator pitch. I'm going to try it with everybody at this particular company. Or I can maybe mix it up. It's my choice, right? I'm making an intentional choice. I'm making something like this will get somebody who's big to think big and connect with me. So I'm going to call it uh, San Siri Intro, right? Okay. So then I'm going to go down the entire chart. Oh, somebody's been busy, I think. Uh, okay. Okay. This is San City. You know what? Okay, I have to decide, right? I have to decide how I want to get in. Do I talk to human resources or not? Is this person going to be able to help me? Probably not. But you know what? Maybe they'll at least give me the courtesy of giving me a redirect to another person, right? Such as Manjiri did for me at uh, at uh, what, what company did you work for? Sinar Mas. This guy said, no, I don't work on this, but I'd like to introduce you to somebody who does. Hey, you know, who cares, right? How many seconds does it take to do that? I just go San Siri, intro, and boom. I want to, of course, not be a moron, and uh, I want to address each person uh, directly. Piyawadi, Piyawadi, Piya. Wait, I didn't spell the name right. Piyawadi. Okay, done. And that is. Oh, <laughs> oh what? I think you double type it. I did. I did. Okay, good. Thank you. Good sharp eyes. Keep your eyes open. All right. So uh, I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to do this across the entire board, right? See what happens. And okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, San Siri intro. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, you're right. I messed up on the tech expander. So then I messed up here, so I better get. What? Ah! Ah! Even at the text expander as well. Okay, done. Done. Okay, so let's let's go over here and take a look and see if I'm getting the results that I want. Um, all right, let's take this card. This card is my latest card. It's the most up-to-date. So I'm not going to create a new card from scratch. I'm just going to make a template from it, and I'm going to pop this. I'm going to go and create a new DDS4, and I'm going to change to San Siri. Uh, and this is a Thai property developer. Now I'm going to create the card, and boom. Okay, the outcome is Thailand, Thailand, and the audience is now San Siri. And the outreach will be different now. So we will keep track of the outreach. So OK. And the date is today, the 24th. OK. All right. So then the question becomes, when do I stop? Aldo, when do I stop? When do I go, oh, enough is enough? Actually, I had questioned that myself, sir. When do I stop? Excellent. All right. Go back to your time and your resources, right? Let's say you want to get everything done within a normal eight-hour workday. So then you stop when you realize that, hmm, okay, um, I, I, I can't do any more within this certain time. So maybe maybe do this. Just say, all right, every day I must spend an hour and a half to two hours just doing prospecting, right? And then I'll spend um, part of that time on reaching out to new people, part of that time to follow up with people that's on my card, and, and that's it. That's, that's my budget. So whatever I get done in that time, it's like working out, right? Whatever I do during that time is whatever I get done, and that's it. So then all you have to control is how many probes do you want to put down, and where do you put down probes? That's it. Just like what Rizal is doing for ads. So you decide, do you want to put 100 
like, you know, uh, do you want to invest everything in just one company or do you want to spread it out to different companies and different types of, of, of whatever? Do you want to then expect to do some networking to find out how to network within the company? All right. Or do you want to go straight to the people that have the answer to the questions that you want? Those are your choices. And I would like to give you the opportunity to make your own choices on those particular decisions. So schedule the time. Whatever you can do in the time is whatever you can do. And that's it, right? And that will show results. Okay, for me, generally, I like to get at least 15 per idea, right? So I'm gonna stack up 15 people around one particular idea. What is that idea? The audience, the message, you know, the timing, right? Which is whatever your time is, is that you're, you're doing these things. Okay, so once I've done 15, um, what I will do is I will see which batch is working well. If Chiputra never gets back to me, why would I go and reach out to more Chiputra people? Um, this doesn't make any sense, right? Like nobody goes back to me. I, I went across their entire company. Um, no results. Uh, if Sinar Mas is getting back to me, maybe I will get more involved in Sinar Mas, right? If you've noticed, even in professional networking, most of our mentors have been coming from two companies. Result, which two companies do we get the most mentorship from? Um, Airbnb and Airbnb and um, Bridge Street. No, Bridge Street was. Oh, sorry. There have been a few people I think you uh, didn't know about. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, it's Airbnb and Uber, right? Mm, yeah. Uber and, Airbnb and Uber have been the ones that we have gotten the most mentorship from. So. We didn't keep on doing on the other ones that didn't work, right? So, same, same with, same with that. Okay, so uh, that's 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 basically kind of like how I would go about it, right, on a base basis. And what you control, actually, Aldo, is your activity every day, and you control the efficiency of this activity. So, let's say you spend two hours doing this every day, right? Just for example, and you spend more or less. It's up to you. Um, and if you put that effort in every day to like think, okay, I'm going to target this new, I'm going to do it, I guarantee you, you should start seeing results. Uh, at some point, some person will be like, yeah, sure, I'll talk to you, right? Um, you do, let's like, say, 15, 20 a day. You do in a week 100. You should be able to get a 1% conversion rate, right? So somebody will come back and, and speak to you. Um, based on that, look at what was the evidence. What company did they work in? What time did you reach out to them? What was your message? And then be able to go, oh, okay, I get it, right? Using this type of message works better than using that type of message. This goes to reason too. When you guys are coming up with ads, you're coming up with different, it's the same thing. Just now Rezal is using like a budget with money. He's planning this idea here, this idea here, this idea here. And then afterwards we reshuffle the ideas to see which one is working the best and then we reprioritize and go after it accordingly. Okay, I'm here not to talk and, and, and say things that don't make sense. I wanna hear also from your side, what is working, what is not working, what am I missing in this strategy? Let's go over to result first. What are we, what are we missing in this strategy so far? On the scope of what, sir? So whatever, what I've said so far, is there anything that, that is missing or is, is not quite right or doesn't sound like convincing yet. Uh, regarding our uh, mission, uh, chapter, chapter mission or? Uh, regarding, regarding this idea of hustle, right? Mm. The idea of hustle is when you try something, don't give up on it and, and don't be like, oh, yeah, no, it's not working because of this. Uh, try it to a provable extent that <laughs> it doesn't work. And it, when it doesn't work, pivot to the next person. Eventually you'll find somebody to say yes. Eventually that person, you can build into a community of people who say yes. And that's how you become gigantic. That's how you go from using a door as your desk, becoming the richest person in the world. Um, okay, over over to result. This okay. is constant hustle. Um, having hustle. Me, um, when I'm doing uh, a uh, hustle experiment like when I'm implement, implementing the Facebook ads, it's like a, a 
it's like I have to pick bandwidth for this uh, experimental life. Uh, when I'm producing the uh, Facebook ads, I have to uh, run this uh, ad set uh, one, and then after uh, before I finish, I have to uh, do the plan on the ad set two. Uh, that's the, uh, the basic. So basically, um, it's like on the bandwidth uh, side that that uh, maybe I need more allocation on it. Yeah, basically just that. Tell me, tell me about this bandwidth side. Do you need more assistance? Do you need more people to help you or more time? Yeah, probably I need more, uh, maybe assistance. So I, I can delegate more or I can also have, uh, I, can, I can run a, a parallel that that uh, completely not me at all. So uh, I need every, uh, anyone that can help me to, to <clears throat> run it also. Okay, got it. All right, over to Aldo. Aldo. What about you? What do you think about this idea? About the idea of hustle or about the idea of the delegating of the of mass results task? Uh, hustle. Hustle first and then we can talk about delegation uh, subsequently. So about the hustle that uh, that you're uh, that you were doing the demo, I think it's a very it's a very good idea about um, reaching out to someone that doesn't um, really in the in the field but but uh, yeah, maybe somehow they will uh, get get uh, introduce us to that people. But uh, I think uh, it's it's different thing. it's different thing. But I but I want to ask you about the the variable that you're um, choosing for. So you you divided the developers by the company, mm -hmm. and uh, I th uh, I I have the question like why do you uh, do it? Uh, why, why do you um, separate it by the company instead of like the 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 size of the property company, I guess. Uh, for me, Aldo, it's just you have to slice it one way or the other, and that was just the easiest way to slice. Um, when you look at, at how do you eat an elephant, Aldo? You got to eat it one bite at a time, right? So uh, we got to start somewhere. We got to start with you know the trunk or the foot or you know we got to we got to chunk this thing up. So when we approach a marketplace and it looks immense it's true it is immense so we need to kind of you know categorize it so i i slice first a company and that for me is easy because i know within a certain company there's probably a certain type of culture we've seen that in uber people at uber tend to like to share for some reason uh they really appreciate recognition they really they really uh, you know same with airbnb right we've seen that People at other companies, I forgot which company the guy asked for money from, but Bridge Street, you know, Rocket Internet founded companies, they tend maybe not to have that culture. And so they, maybe they don't want to share. Um, within usually a company, I've realized there is, especially a big company, there's going to be culture. There's going to be a pretty standard set of ways that people see the world. And so you have essentially an audience now. You have an audience of people with similar characteristics within that particular boundary. So that's one way to slice people. Um, I could slice people according to, I don't know, uh, age, but I don't have the tool to slice by age, Aldo, right? How am I going to be able to like target, you know, a band of 50 to 60 year olds? Um, I don't have that tool, so I can't do it. Um, so that's that. Uh, I, I don't know, I mean, I mean that's, that's what I sort of intuited, but it was based on, I guess, Limitations, really. Um, if I could, I would just go over and slice according to property developers who love working with Book of Vista and have always thought about meeting me from the day they were born. But how would I find that person, right? I, I don't have I, I don't have a tool that that will just you know sort of connect me to that. So I, I can only slice according to the tools I do have. So when I organize, let's say, a specific marketplace. Um, Let's organize according to, let's say, a nation. Okay, that's fine. All right, we understand there's a nation. Uh, all right, so then let's organize maybe, if you, if you really think about it, Algo, if you really think about it, most global companies, they're not global because they're trying to be global. Most global companies are global because they just fulfill a common need that all experience, all humans experience. Simple as that. It's like, why do, why do Singaporeans eat Indomie? Is it because they believe in Indonesian independence? Is it that they believe in, in, in you know, I don't know, do they believe in Bineka 
uh, Tunga, yeah, like uh, Eka Tunga, yeah. Uh, no, I mean they just they just want to get some cheap fucking food, right? And that's and that's tasty, and that's it. It's not. It's nothing more than that. It's not. It's not anything more extraordinary. So we have a we have a we have a bold mission, right? But at the end of the day, most people partner with Wicked Vista because let's face it, they just want to save some money, right? Or they want to make some more money, or whatever it is. Maybe they're lazy. So as long as we find people who like that, that's the kind of people we we want. The only issue is the only issue is actually not about brand or whatever. The only issue is access. How can we actually access that particular person, and how can we actually access the services that we promise to deliver? Um, it's kind of harder if it's outside of Indonesia than it's within. But if you really think about it, right? If you really think about it, if you solve the problem of how to create access to, let's say, what we're going to do, if we can, if we can do let's say Nusa Penida, why can't we do no, Ibiza, right? What's the real difference there? Um, we're talking to all our hosts remotely, right? We're getting our guests checked in. Sure, we meet the people from time to time, but I think if we can get 3C culture to work and we can meet our owners on a video call, and we can schedule and can communicate about key issues, we can work remotely, then there really shouldn't be no difference between Nusa Penida, which we have nobody there, and maybe any other island in the world where we have nobody there, theoretically, right, theoretically. Um, so that's that's the way I approach it. Now, I know how frustrating it might be for both of you guys right now because, hey, let's face it, it's, it's kind of a hard job, right? Uh, Aldo, how frustrated do you feel in your particular role? Yeah, I think it's kind of frustrating. I mean, very frustrating because I I outreach like uh, uh, trying many channels, uh, trying many audiences, uh, trying new messages, but oh. still still no one uh, replies and no one get back to me. Who have you asked for help for? Sorry. Have you asked for help? Um. No. <laughs> maybe maybe. Well, once again, prioritization, right? So you have time, energy, and you have another thing, which is what? And skill. Yeah, yeah. Skill. Maybe, maybe the skill sets aren't one hundred percent there yet, Aldo. Right? Um, maybe that 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 particular nuance of how to make the probes. Like you did really well. Remember, you 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 prove professional networking works. Right? You prove that professional networking actually works. It was just an idea, right? Now we have startup masterclass. Now it's real. Now it's like like now it's like 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 now it's like getting a nasi goreng, right? It just you know, we assume that we're gonna get one every, every week, right? We assume that we're gonna get a world class speaker every week now, maybe two, maybe five, right? So you prove that. But okay, I think the next step is to refine that skill, right? How do you actually get that skill? To work because you changed your 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 audience, right? You you no longer were looking for the same audience anymore. You changed the different audience. You changed journalists. You changed property developers, and it looks like that skill needs to be redeveloped, right? So that you can start believing in yourself again, so that you have the confidence and not feel frustrated and and resort to oh I'm not good because I I suck, you know I I'm unworthy. Uh, no, it's never because of that. It's because Remember, it, it, it's a little bit like a combination lock. This is a little bit like hacking, right? So you have a combination lock, and maybe your first wheel is correct, right? Maybe your first wheel is correct, but your other three wheels on the combination lock are wrong. So it doesn't open the lock. So what you got to do is you got to kind of keep on, you know, rotating each wheel until you get them all lined up and then crack the combination lock open. And that Gentlemen is what marketing is at the end of the day. Marketing is the search of finding what is the specific audience, timing, message, and message. Oh, wait, wait, time, uh, and channel, right? And channel. And LinkedIn is a perfect channel. Look, result, we're able to find dozens of people, hundreds of people. You can even talk to Vidi. Say, Vidi, run. 
believe that exists yet because that will get you to think lazy. You know, we still have to do the hard work, but there could be a way that you could scrape the entire site, that you could drop a hundred in, in, in invitation letters to people, right? Using the same invitation script. And this could be done like maybe automatically. It'd be really cool if that could be done, right? But the hustle doesn't change, right? If, if you don't get the results, what are you gonna do? You're gonna stop? No, this is what we need humans for. You need to come up with a new, new idea and keep on going forward, right? That's the idea of the hustle. So don't worry. I, I kind of predicted this might happen, <laughs> but I was waiting for you to ask. I was waiting for, when is Aldo going to say, I need help? <laughs> and, and it hasn't happened yet. So that's why we're having this discussion, right? <laughs> And, uh, and, and, and I think that is prioritization. You got to say, Hey, look, you know, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like things are working. What should I be doing next? And, and you can come back a second time. Maybe I'm drunk or high when I talk to you and you're like, Hey, Jing, I think you were drunk or high the last time you talked to me. It didn't make any sense. You better sit down with me again and tell me the way that it really is. Right? <laughs> and I'll go, okay, fine. You really, you want the real answer. I'll give you the real answer. Um, Sometimes I, I imagine things, right, the way that they could be. And it's, it's, it's the, you know, it's like the first taste of inspiration. It's like, oh, you know, this girl looked at me. Maybe I'm going to marry her. No, right? It, it's, it's, it doesn't work kind of that way. It's sort of like maybe this girl will, will allow me to approach her and not shame me by saying that I'm a smelly idiot, right? That's all that it is on the first step. Okay, that's really all that you should expect. Not like I'm going to get a success. So it's it's more like this. All right, like, this is not the pathway to success. This is not like going to work. You try it on your own. You probably still fail. Right? Like that's that's pretty normal. I, I fail all the time. I feel like, like you know, look at me. This is a, like how many people have resigned from Book of Vista, right? You know, like like uh, each one. I don't know. If that's a failure or not. But okay. Long story short. Um, expect to fail, but just fail better each time, right? Fail like in, in the way where things are becoming more clear to you. And if you need coaching with that, come back and say, hey, look, Jing, I failed these times. I don't get it. Do you see anything in this pattern that I don't see? Bring it, bring it to, I don't know, bring it to, bring it to, bring it to Lillis, right? Bring, hey, Lillis, you went to Etebe. Um, can you tell me what I'm not seeing, right? <laughs> And, and she might be like, yeah, yeah, it's obvious, you know, like, you know, you don't see the pattern here, like all these people, these, these are all men and these were all females and the females never got back to you and the males all did. So that's what you should be doing. You should be targeting males, right? Um, I don't know, right? Like, like, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just imagining right now. I'm just being inspired, right? So um, wh whatever it is, uh, just, just, um, I, I, I've noticed this. I noticed we've gotten stuck in, in, uh, you know, uh, public relations uh, and journalists. I know we gotten stuck in some of these things. Don't be afraid to ask. Just say, "Hey, look, you know, I, I think, I think we need to, we need to, we need to take, take a look at this." That is true humility, not that fake humility of like, "Oh, you know, uh, thank you for coming to my house, and here, let me get you." A, you know, that that that's that's being polite, right? But true humility is when you say, "Hey, look, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me ask." And I do that every day. If I can inspire you, I hope I can inspire you. Maybe, maybe, but like, God, I don't want to be fat and bold like you. But, but anyway, uh, 